Assalamualaikum doktor. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Is, um, when we talk about unity in ummah, uh, from my point of view that Allah has been given me, I think uh, one of the big aspect or the problem is, and can you tell me the impact of our self or our role in solat jamaah? Now we are no longer care or concern about it. We are it's like a snake in our soul. Is that it? How how big is the impact of a soul in solat jamaah? That is my question. Thank you very much. I could not hear a question clearly, but if I have understood, I'll repeat it and say it correct. You were saying that today when we stand for our salah in the jamaat, our rows are not straightened, correct? Yes. So that's the main question. As a beloved Prophet Muhammad before he started the salah, he always said that straighten your row, close in your gaps, and do not leave any opening for the sitting. And the hadith of Hazrat Anas Mallah be with him, he said, that when we stood for salah, our feet touched the feet of the companion. Our shoulder touched the shoulder of the companion. So the right way to stand in salah is stand in a straight row. Straight row. And your feet to shut the feet. And the shoulder to shoulder. And this is the right way. But I know some of the people don't like touching each other's feet. So you tell them nicely, but this is what our prophet said. That don't let, if you leave any gap, then the Satan will come in between. If you agree, fine, doesn't agree, but don't fight over it. That there is in the Imam, even today I heard the Imam saying, before he said, Malai, but I could understand. He said that straight in your rows. Close in the gaps. So, this is the way of the Sunnah. This is the Afzal way, the best way how you should pray. But, please, over this issue, don't fight. Oh, my neighbor is not putting properly, so then you start sticking and then your full salah is disturbed. You keep on chasing him. He goes on going far away from you. Then your khushu and salah is gone. Okay, do to the best of ability. Try and touch, no problem. But don't be obsessed with it. If someone who is your neighbor, if he doesn't want to do it, you cannot abuse him. Maybe when the salah gets so, you can tell him nicely. If he agrees, follow. Doesn't agree, no problem. Don't fight over it. Hope that answers the question.